Hey, what is up everybody? My name's Star Lord. I hope that you're all having a fantastic day, guys. I'm having a really good day, and I hope that all of you are too. You're all smiling, because you deserve to be. So, uh, yeah. In today's video, what we're actually going to be talking about is the new Playground LTM, low gravity mode inside that LTM, and a lot more options that we yet haven't actually heard about. We're going to be just talking about the Playground LTM a little tiny bit. And uh, also, we have a little bit of confirmation from Epic Games on basically what is happening with this game mode, why it isn't here yet. So I would love to put that across in today's video to kind of keep you guys updated. Uh, but before we do get into the video, guys, please do not forget to leave a like. Let's see if we can hit 600 likes. That would be absolutely amazing. It only takes a second and it really helps me out. And also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, guys, because you would be missing out on really good Fortnite daily content. So subscribe, turn on notifications, and phone, will you shut up with notifications? Jesus Christ, I'm trying to do a video here. Uh, but anyway, like I said, the Playground LTM. Now, of course, a lot of you guys got really, really hyped when we heard about this mode. And and there was not really much said about it other than, you know, it's going to have a lot of uh, resources, the llamas would be huge, and it would just be all around like a sandbox kind of game mode where we can kind of mess around. Well, it turns out that this game mode actually may be a little bit far off than we originally expected. It seems that Epic Games are having some really bad problems with it because, get on this, it is only for four players. Okay, so try and get that around you. So basically, when they announced Playgrounds LTM, I thought that it was going to be 100 players in a server messing about. But it actually turns out that there's only going to be four players that are able to join the Playgrounds LTM. And these are your friends, you know, these are like your teammates, your friends, or I'm assuming you can squad up with some random people. But it isn't going to be 99, 100 people. It's not going to be it. So I was actually very disappointed about this. I mean, originally I had the kind of idea, you know, I had the kind of impression that it was going to be, you know, if I wanted to invite my viewers into a game, I could do. I thought of it more as a custom match rather than an actual LTM. But yeah, it actually turns out that because it is only four players in one server, Epic are having a little bit of a problem with this because basically... There's something to do about the servers handling only four players. I mean, basically what it is is that more people will be taking more servers. Because, you know, obviously there would be less servers if 99 people could get in it. But because it's only four players per server, they're going to need a lot more kind of back-end server kind of... Uh, I guess, I don't know, I don't really know the issue, but basically, all I know is that it's because there's only four players in each server, and this is going to cause problems for Fortnite, and it is causing problems for Fortnite, they're finding it very difficult to actually try and do this, so, it seems like this is going to be a little bit more far off than we originally thought. Now, talking about the actual game mode itself, of course, you guys know that there's going to be unlimited respawns, there's going to be unlimited materials, and also, it seems like there's going to be unlimited llamas. Now, this is really cool because, obviously, the whole respawn thing, I mean, obviously, if someone gets into a game with you, um, if you guys didn't already know, friendly fire is enabled, and if someone gets into a game with you, if you squad with a random person and they kill you, that would just be really crappy. So I'm really happy that we do get unlimited respawns. I'm just a little bit confused about how exactly they will make you respawn. Will it be on the map itself? Or will you be put back inside a battle bus? Or maybe like there's a UFO floating in the middle of the map or something. Something silly like that, you know? Um, which would actually be pretty, pretty, pretty cool. Like a UFO rather than a, you know, an actual uh, battle bus or something like that. That'd be pretty cool. Now, as I said, the materials and the llamas and everything like that, they're going to be unlimited too. Now, the materials, I would really like to see it where if you destroy a tree, like, 10 or I'd say, like, about, about 35 seconds later, that tree would spawn back again. I mean, that would obviously allow us to collect unlimited materials. But not only that, you know, the llamas are there, so, you know, we don't really need anything to spawn back. But it would kind of make it a little bit more cooler, I guess. I don't really know. Um, I don't know. It would kind of help them too decide with like future game modes where, you know, um, if we did destroy stuff, it kind of spawned back or, you know, I, I don't know. But personally for me, I would like trees and everything to kind of spawn back or grow back over time of you actually playing inside this LTN. Now, other than that, they did say that there is going to be some changes to the game mode itself. It's going to have the settings changed. Now, what I kind of got from this was that maybe 
they changed the settings inside this game mode so that we are prepared for custom games. Now, what I'm talking about here is low gravity or high gravity games. So basically, you know, when you spawn into a playground LTM, what I would love to see personally is the ability to change different settings within the game itself. So for example, you know, we can have like a little slider where basically we can change the gravity from low to high. So basically if it's low gravity, when you jump, you go really, really high. If it's high gravity, you can't jump at all, which would be very, very weird and it would actually cause people not to jump around when shooting and also it would just kind of make it a little bit more difficult. I would love to see a game where you had no gravity at all or, you know, high gravity and uh, basically, you know, it would just be really difficult for players to play. I mean, I would love to see how that would go down personally but um, other than that, I would just really like to see some sort of game implementation where we can basically change a couple of the settings. Like, such as, you know, if we wanted more sniper rifles to spawn more than assault rifles, I wish there was, like, a slider where basically it said sniper rifles, you could put that to the top, which means that... Uh, they're four times more likely to spawn and if you see pistols you could put that to the bottom where it's like either zero so they never spawn at all or one where they hardly spawn at all you know so basically you get to customize this game you, the way you want to be because you know it is a playground LTM and uh, you know it should be kind of the way you want it to be uh, and not only that what would be really cool inside the playground LTM would be if we could actually choose an LTM inside of an LTM I know that sounds really weird it's like inception but LTM inception I don't know but basically what if we got into the playground LTM and we were able to choose whether we wanted it to be focused on solid gold or even gun game and I, I know that you guys haven't really heard about gun game that much but basically gun game is a LTM that uh, Fortnite developers are actually testing at the minute where basically you start off with a pistol you get a kill with it and it'll automatically switch you to an SMG and then it'll switch you to something else and the more kills you get basically at the end you get a FAMAS or a SCAR or a rocket launcher and you have to kill somebody with that or maybe even a crossbow I, I don't really know but I would love to see us be able to choose different game modes like that inside the playground LTM itself now, one thing to take away from all of this, guys, is that this is all paving the whole pathway for custom games in Fortnite itself. I'm sorry, my voice is cr like, oh my god, my voice is killing me right now. Jesus, it's so dry in the UK that it's really hard to talk because, like, I'm so dehydrated. I'm very sorry. But basically, all I'm trying to say is that the Playgrounds LTM is the first steps to creating custom games in Fortnite Battle Royale and I know custom games have been a thing already but they wasn't very customizable and we haven't really seen custom games for quite a while now so it would seem that as it's getting to the point where you know Fortnite's been out for quite a while now it would make sense for them to at least implement custom games to Fortnite YouTubers or Fortnite streamers or something like that so that you know they can have a little taste of what it's like to invite their fans into games and kind of have them in to play custom games. Now, I know exactly that's already happened, you know, it really has already happened, but um, PlayerUnknown's Battleground did this around about a year ago now, and uh, basically, custom games are a thing in PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds. I mean, a lot of YouTubers actually already have their custom games, and if they want to, if they don't want to really play the normal game, they can go into their custom games, tell their fans, hey, listen, enter this key to get into my custom games. This is what we're going to do. Come and join in. It would really make sense for Fortnite to do this over the summertime because obviously everyone's off school, everyone's off work, or, you know, a lot of people are off work eh, a lot more. And uh, people are taking their holidays. So, you know, it would be the prime example time to actually implement this into the game and kind of work it all out. But anyway guys, tell me what you think about this in the comment section below. Are you a fan of Playgrounds LTM? Like, are you excited for this game mode to get into this game? I mean, personally for me, it's one of the game modes that I'm very hyped about and I really want to see it inside the game itself. So uh, yeah, I'm very excited indeed. 
Uh, but not only that, guys, uh, before I do end the video, I would like to say that I've started live streaming on Facebook lately. I know Facebook's a little bit different from Twitch and everything, but basically, I am an official creator on Facebook now, and uh, I'm actually able to do money giveaways every two days when I'm live streaming. I live stream every single day over there, and uh, I'm able to actually give away money so that you guys can actually go and buy yourselves some V-Bucks. If that sounds like something that you'd like to do, go into the description below. There'll be a Facebook link at the very top somewhere. Click on that, like and follow the page, guys, because honestly, I don't have many people over there at the minute, and the chances of winning some free money is really high right now for a lot of people. So uh, yeah, make sure to hop on to that, and and uh, yeah, I guess just have an awesome day. I hope to see you over there. And uh, yeah, until next time, I've been Star Lord. See ya.